Hey, would you look at that? It is time for another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. This morning, the cost of not changing quick enough. Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rizzi. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning show where we talk about how to start growing. Enjoy the benefits, business ownership and entrepreneurship. And we do that on a daily basis right here, 7 o'clock every morning. Facebook Live, you can find all of that, 7minutesinthemorning.com, uh, on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, everywhere that content is found. And if you happen to be listening um, or want to listen on your favorite podcast catcher, it's everywhere podcasts are found, except one, which we're going to have that resolved by the end of the week. Um, so when you get here, whether you're watching live or watching on the replay, do me a favor, say hi, hello, how you doing? Leave a comment. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. If you need some inspiration for that comment, just name where you're watching from is a fantastic way to start. So this morning, um, I don't see any audio going out here. Uh, we're going to go with it anyway. This morning... Uh, I want to talk to you about holding on long enough versus too long. Holding on long enough versus holding on too long. This bothers me that this looks like there's no audio going out here. So if you're watching and you can hear me, give me a comment. Let me know that it's working. All right. So holding on too long versus not enough. Way too often we hold on to some idea way too long in the, um, the, the, the idea behind that is, I am completely distracted by that. The idea behind that is that when we get this, we, we have this idea that we need to be tenacious, hold on tooth and nail, hold on to the very end. And sometimes when we do that, we hold on too long. We do so to our own detriment. So how do you know when it's time to let go versus when it's time to hold on? Well, that is the art, isn't it? I had a coaching client one time who was very frustrated with the idea that this particular product that he was trying to develop could not get that developed, could not get it to work. And so as we dug into that a little bit, I asked why not? And he said, well, because I've got all these other people calling me for something else, that, you know, is not my primary focus. I'm like, well, here's your solution right here. Answer the problem at hand, and then that's going to give you revenue, time, opportunity to develop this if you even need to develop that. The art is knowing when to let go, when to decide to live and fight another day, right? That's always the challenge. But the very best way to understand that, to, to know when to do that, how to do that, is to understand which option ahead of you, hold hold on tenaciously here or live to fight another day, which one moves you closer to your ultimate goal. That's it. That's that's the long and short of it. All right. I'm adequately distracted by the fact that there's no audio showing up here, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it right there today. I might have to come back and do this one again. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. Um, but thank you so much for being here with, <laughs> uh, it's been a choppy show today. Whether you watch live or you're watching on the replay, thanks so much for being here. I always appreciate having you here. We will let's see today's Wednesday. That means tomorrow's Thursday. Be back here seven o'clock with another brand new installment. Seven minutes in the morning. Be sure to tune in then.